Hey! Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Dragon Quest Monsters, Terry's Wonderland, a 3D. I did a little bit of grinding, and we've got ourselves a slightly new team. First up, we've got Dracular, who I got from a green dragon and a wacken ape, which obviously came from our golem and ant guzzler. Uh, then, of course, we've got our cross eye. Uh, we got our evil seed, which we got from our cruel cumber and stump chump. And we have ourselves a wing slime, which we got from Healy and a hammer hood. Ugh. I think she wants a wing slime. Thank you, lady. Ba -da -da a leafy larkin. I mean, we've got a leafy larkin. So I guess... Let's go grab that. Alright, Leafy Larkin. Aya! Yeah, Alright. Alright. Let's go see if we can't get something to drop a giant deuce on our noggin. Oh, yeah. Uh, your muscles will start showing up here. Oh, I caught a Misty Wing. That was a thud. <laughs> it's laughing at us. An ethereal serpent's egg. Yay! So, um, I don't know if any of you know how to, you know, handle things, but I was, I'm trying to get some cheats to work on this game. Not to, like, get multiple different monsters, but to quite literally speed up my grinding. Grinding in these games suck. I got a singular cheat to work once, and it made all of my monsters level 50. And I don't know why it worked, I don't know how it worked, and it didn't work again afterwards. I wasn't even trying to make my monsters 50. I was just trying to get like a times two, times four, or even a times 10 EXP work. And it's like, no, it just took 90% of our monsters up. And I was just like, what the fuck? Oh well. Burn it out! All four slots in my party to be slimes. Alright, well, that's not gonna happen right now. Anyway, it is time for us to boom, 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 baby, zoom, 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 and go into what is potentially the Saber Cat's room. Because these should have been, according to the original game, Saber Cat and uh, Tree Face. Judging by the fact that I see myself some baby cubs, we might still have that. You missed! Son of a bitch. I was like, I should be do some good luck because I failed five times in a row a uh, thing that was a 79% chance. Five times in a row. That is not something that statistically should have happened. But, 
that is a crow uh, probability, in which if it's less than 100%, you have a significantly higher chance of missing. If you don't believe me, you really need to watch my uh, videos more. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, if you can miss, you'll miss. Even if it's a nine times out of ten, you'll hit. No. I don't gamble. For that specific reason. Honestly, our levels should be fine to just go straight to the boss of this area and to do the arena today. So that's kind of what I'm leaning towards doing right now. Uh, we shouldn't need to putz around and do anything else. Or we could do this floor and potentially do Pash, or is what he's called in the uh, original, but go after the Mad Night Gate, which might not even be the Mad Night Gate. I mean, we'll see. I like a couple more levels, you know, here or there. For the most part, we're just here to beat some butts. For the most part, especially as we get further in the game, it's going to end up being like a gate a day. Because I, it's just what it is. Especially if I can manage to get the grinding taken care of. Because then you, I don't need to spend that extra time doing the grinding, which is why I spend an a, inordinate amount of time for the Dragon Quest Monster Series grinding. And so that we don't have to sit here and do all the grinding. Because that's not fun. I mean, we'll still do some fighting, some scouting uh, here and there, because, I mean, it's necessary. But Another thing is, I could have a wrong version of this game, just like I did for Joker 3, because I'm bad. I don't think I do. I want the 5% chance to give myself a well-wisher. Because the very first time I played this game, I got the 5% scout on a Wellwisher, which is a B rank monster in like one of the first handful of gates. Which means I was able to breed A level monsters almost from the very beginning. And I got a Nimzo. So naturally, uh, I dominated. Unfortunately, that was all non recorded. So I don't even know what monster combos I used to get the Nimzo. <laughs> but it was all legit. Oh man. I gotta get me more monsters content! And I keep getting teased by y'all by telling me how good the demo for Monsters 3 is. Ah! <laughs> Oh, it's so close. There's so many good games coming out soon. We got Super Mario RPG coming out next month. That's gonna be on stream, so if you don't watch my streams... Well, check out the VOD channel if you can't uh, make it over. I stream a large variety of games. Or just come to Twitch. All the links are below. Uh, so, then in December, we've got Monsters 3. And then, and then, and then, we have, um, uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door remake coming out. Hold on.
Uh, then we've got... Um... Final Fantasy VII Part Deuce coming out. Like, there's so much content, y'all, of all the games I love. Also, nice, Metal Slime. That is why you always explore all the floors. Because you never know when the Metal Slime will fly on by. Anyway, HP roulette. I don't even know what to do, but, uh, well, we're about to find out. All right, so I haven't decided. Do I want to devote more into Materialist? Steady Recovery is nice, but Timid is not. And that is the problem. But I could get it from Dragonlore instead. So I think we'll go for that. Cross-Eye. Uh, I don't really want to put anything into this, though the Confusion and Sleep Guard is kind of nice. Ah. Uh. You know what? I'll pop points into this. Uh, can someone let me know if, um, they know whether or not, um, stat boosts from, like, for instance, the MP boost gives you actual MP boost? Like, it, uh, like, when it increases my wisdom and MP, when I then breed my moonsters together, do they have higher wisdom thanks to that or no? I don't know why I adopted Exit, but I am currently stuck with it. Ah. Okay. Sorry. I will infrequently accidentally accento things and then I get stuck. Just like sometimes when I'm trying to get a word out, I get stuck on the word. Look, things happen, okay? I've I've got I've I've got weird issues. <laughs> Stub suck. Tree sap slime. You know how it be. Army antos. I mean, the only thing that's super worth it with uh, those stat boosts is obviously getting it fully upgraded so that when you do breed, you can get the level two, so you get better boosts later. And in some cases, like what I have, I never know what I'm actually going to do with my uh, people, so getting those and then just passing them along is always nice. A uh, bag of laughs, I already got you, so you can go and funk off. But wow, wow. Alright. I am really keen on picking up lots of items because one, you never know when you're gonna get a high valued one. Two, treasure chests that give metal tickets are going to be the absolute godsend of the century. Especially for end of game. Like, don't even get me started. I, I don't plan on using metal tickets right now. It's when we've got the monsters that are just like, you need four bajillion XP to go up half a level. And I'm just like, fuck. Metal tickets. Alright, look around down. Yeah. Oh, that's a treasure chest. I mean, I was gonna go down anyway, because there was another path we saw, but, you know. 
I would have preferred it if there wasn't, and then I could have been like, oh, yep, time to move on ahead. All right, we're almost at the bottom floor anyway, and we're only 15 minutes in, so we're definitely going to be able to... Hmm. I'm shocked we haven't seen a, um... A random monster master or special floor yet. I know the longer you're on floors, the more likely you will find things, but I mean, I'm just kind of surprised it hasn't happened yet. Wait. Oh, wait, did I already open that? Yes. <laughs> Short term memory, Emery, Emery, Emery loss. Got anything shiny for us in here, good sirs? A metal slim gym? Treasure chest? Shinies on the floor? Nope. This crow was disappointed! Oh! Ah, we'll kill it. Squash the ant! My Dracu large friend here has some words to say to you, Mr. Evil Seed. It is, I know I've said this before, it is really nice that I don't have to conserve my MP or use an abundance of MP restoratives in order to um, take care of our monsters to get to the boss. Because there's nothing worse than like slogging through an entire thing, getting to the boss and you're like, I have no X, I have no HP, I have no MP, we are dying, ah, type of deal, you know? But here, you know, easy mode. They give you literal full heal for your monsters. Wiped out, no problem. No MP, no problem. No HP, no problem. You made it here, good job, kid. And then, of course, the, oh, I failed to kill the boss. Here, here's a teleport straight to me. Part of me has thought, like, oh, maybe I should just, you know... Do all the floors myself? No, that's still no fun for you guys to watch if I'm just doing everything all on my own. I'll do the tedious grinding, but y'all can just listen to me, like, carry on and ramble about my love for monster taming games, Dragon Quest monsters, yada 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 Like, for instance, last time y'all got to hear me read off part of the strategy guide for Dragon Quest Warrior Monsters 1. Still depressing, I want the physical copy because I would read that shit to bed every night. You think I'm kidding? I used to read the fucking. If you ever grew up in that era of old Nintendo games in which they came with booklets inside the games, and then you could read, they had story, unique art that controls. I used to read the shit out of those GameCube, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. I used to do them all. It's Percy. They could have made this great saber cat the reference to five that it really is. If he survives this turn, I'm going to be literally shocked. That's what I thought. Ha ha! Meow?
I mean, this could still be the subtle reference to it being Dragon Quest V's, but... Looks like the great Saber Cat is taking a liking to you, Crow. Meow, let's go back. La -da 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 -da. So you defeated the Great Saber Cat. I'd said a Great Saber Cat as quick as the wind. In that case, you must be as quick as a hurricane. <laughs> That's a bit much. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I must be a busy, 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 busy. I just realized I left the stove on. I'll be right back. <laughs> That's what you call a whoops. I meant to make lunch two hours ago, so I started my uh, oven and then went back to work. Yeah! Let's take on the Mad Knight, shall we? Alright, however, first I need to switch you to... Uh, now I need you to allocate... I can't remember if in this game you actually lose your monster or not. That's why I'm putting the small fry right there. Because in the original game, you do this, you lose your monster. I don't want that. Uh, Crikey, let me borrow it for a minute. I'll borrow you small for a juice for a short bit. I lost the very first time I played Dragon Warrior Monsters. I lost my dragon. I was pissed. These guys have superiorly bad luck. They attempt to make several fires and create traveler's gates. <laughs> Okay, yeah. I thought I gotta keep my small fry, but I wasn't sure. Alright, let's see how bad this is gonna be for them. Only five floors? Hell yeah, we got this, boys! Easy as pizza pie! I feel like I could have done this much earlier, but I didn't. Are you funking with me, you pieces of shit? This is most likely not the, um, Mad Knight fight. Because I remember the Mad Knight fight being like 8 to 12 floors, and I was just like, Dang, this is such an early thing, should I not be doing this now? I did it anyway. This is even worse than last time, and I had somebody with some... Whatever. Ha 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 ha. Fencing fox, fencing fox, get the fuck out of here, you small fry. Let's take a quick old look ski over around ya. Meat! I guess we're going down there. Also, we can get ourselves the uh, mini drac. Whatever they're called in this game. 
Am I the only person who also has issues switching between the, like, four bajillion names? Ah, the Komodos. For Dragon Warrior Monsters, Dragon Quest Monsters, because they've changed over the years, you know? I will never look at a Silvapithecus and not think Ag Devil. The Silvapithecus will always be an Ag Devil to me, because they didn't have the room to write out Silvapithecus in the Game Boy. Only reason it's called an Ag Devil, because it's a devil and it's silver. Ag Devil. Son of a bitch. Blinding me. And everybody ended up hitting. If I fail this. Thank you. I was gonna be pissed. Ooh, an attack boost. Keep that one tucked away in the bank. I'll forget. Like now. <laughs> I think this game needs more puns. Am I alone in that thought? Dragon Quest puns are literally legendary to me. Fuck off! You leaf hopper. Sorry, walking. Why are they called walking sticks? They don't look like a walking stick. They are literally leaf hoppers, grass hoppers, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Do you not see my luck? I had a 15% chance for failure. And we hit it! Let it out. Let it out. We'll put some into defense boost. Why not? Get a little bit of a buffer zone up. It's like, I shouldn't need to use meat. We're already getting above 80%. Uh, and I will also still stand by my opinion of skills in the Dragon Warrior series. I prefer the way you get skills in Dragon Warrior Monster and Dragon Warrior Monsters 2. It's based entirely upon breeding as well as the way your stats are going. So for instance, uh, you get Frigid Air, which becomes uh, Blizzard, which becomes Snowstorm, something like that, which becomes White Air, or uh, Ice Bolt into Ice Air into, I don't know. I don't remember exactly how it is, but the precision, precision of, like, the skills, like Flame Breath and, uh, Blah 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 to scorching and the white air or uh, white fire, whatever. 
I just, I like it so much more than like, Alright, lay out your skill points. Dump it all in. It's just like, I don't know. I like not necessarily knowing what I'm gonna get, when I'm gonna get it. Like, I'll know I'll get ice skills because I use somebody who has ice. However, like, you get learned skills based upon the skills you have. So, like, if you've got, like, uh, slash attacks plus flame breath or something like that, can't you create, like, flame slash or something like that? I don't know. I don't remember. But, like, the evolution of skills like that is so much more interesting to me than what... Uh, we currently have in this game. It's just boring to me. Fucking fox. Am I the only one, though, who thinks that? Or do some of you also have, like, that kind of feeling? Like, would prefer it if we got, like... D do you prefer this whole, uh, skill point-based system? Where, like, you know what you're getting, you know the, uh, natural flow of the things? Uh, you can get fusions just based upon... The, uh skills moving as is. I think we need uh, some of that old back. But that's my thing. Metal. We should probably turn those in. All right, who do we got here? Tree face. Bad night. No, might not be either. Arkhor? It's very easy to lose your way in here. I cannot believe that a mere child made it this far. Be that as it may, it must have taken quite the effort to find me, but now I'm afraid I cannot let you leave. I do miss the mini puzzles too when you get to the boss. Like to find Darkhorn in his actual place. Wait, is his name even Darkhorn? battering ram here, but I think it was Darkhorn originally. But, uh, like, to get to him, you needed to actually talk to somebody else prior to there who will tell you don't lose your way in the maze. And then they tell you the way to go, because it's just a single map with a maze. And I think that's so cool. Uh, in the, um... Funky Bird place, you could, um, you had to gamble to make him angry and fight you. In, uh, the Tree Face, you had to navigate a maze of stub sock. I like that so much more. I'd like to point out that he's got a, it looks like a beak, but I'm pretty sure that's his nose? I don't even know, dude. You found a battering ram, bleat! Man, where's my mad knight? 
Man, so many of the old monsters got just absolutely crushed in this. I've said this every time. Playing this... <laughs> it makes me want to go back and play the original again. There's no mods for it that I've found that are actually, like, good or exist. If you know any good mods for the original Dragon Warrior monsters, please tell me. So you defeated the battering ram. Bro, you even managed to do it without getting lost in his labyrinth. There was no labyrinth. And that's disappointing. Why did they cut that extra floor of puzzles? I, I truly don't understand why they thought that was what was necessary. <sighs> Sorry. I get excited, and then I get angry. Mini metal. Mini metal. Can I have a ha ha spear? Thank you. None of our monsters have anything equipped, by the way. Can't even equip that, really? big guy. Claws are twenty five hundred. Ah, all right, that's fine for now then. All right, let's see what kind of monsters we can breed. I don't think I'm gonna do any breeding like between this episode and next episode because our monsters are pretty good right now, but I want to see what our options are. Owlbear.
Tiger Tar. It's not bad, but... Blooming Sorceress. Flora Mage. Drag Urn. Man, they really want me to make a Tosca tier, dude. Metal Heavy? Behemo slime, sorry. Steady recovery is nice, but Dark Crab is kind of good in the original game, not so much in this one. Ticking Time Berm. This is another guy I think I've read. Yeah. Press it with a Draki. Silver Pithecus. Executioner. A lunatic. You were called Eider in the original. Juggernaut is interesting, but... Do I want to give up three things? Ugh. Seeing a whole lot I want to do here yet. We'll see what happens, but we are gonna pick up with this again next time. So, anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and until the next time, everybody, stay funky, people.